Hi, I'm Al T. I'm here today to give you a walkthrough of how to use the Personas 1642 mixing console in conjunction with Pro Tools. There are no other videos like this one. What we're going to do, we're going to take a step by step how to set up your Pro Tools system and actually also run your Personas. What I like better is when I'm using my Personas, I use Studio One because Studio One software gives you a lot more flexibility in the creative world. But today, we're going to talk about Pro Tools 9 because we know a lot of people are going to Pro Tools 9 and using a Personas uh, interface as their interface unit for the quality of sound. Okay, let's hook up our computer to the Persona 1642 with the firewire cable that came in the box. If you look at the video here, I'm gonna we're connected already to the computer. Now let's see. Here we go. Now we are plugged into the uh, mixing console. All right. Also, if you're using a Mac product, especially a new Mac product, the the firewire port is an 800 port, and the Persona 164 is a 400 so you may need an adapter to convert that 800 over to 400 or either 800 cable to 400 to work on the unit now what we're doing is actually going to set up our Pro Tools 9 to be able to operate with the Persona 1642 you go to your Pro Tools icon in here at the bottom of the menu bar double click it uh, there she goes, firing up. All right, let's see. Okay, now we have Pro Tools 9 Quick Start menu have just popped up on the computer. Now, since we have the Personas already hooked up, a lot of cats, when you're running Pro Tools, you just open session. So now we have a session that just popped open. When you open your Pro Tools session, you want to communicate your Pro Tools software with your Personas 1642. First thing you do is go here to settings, come down here to hardware, make sure you see in your preferences that the uh, Personas Firewire Studio is, is connected. And then you can uh, launch the setup app, okay? You just hit OK. Always double check these settings because sometimes the computer can do some weird stuff. Your current engine should say Personas Firewire Studio. You can double click if you don't see it. You'll see your build in microphone, build in input, build in output. You should see Personas. Then go back to settings again to your IO, okay? Your IO settings is all of your output settings. The, here's the output settings now. This is something that we had did earlier where all your individual outputs are automatically set to one to one, which is output one is channel one, output two is channel two. If you go in here and if you want to work this way out of the personas, this is one of the best ways to work. That everything you bring into channel one will come out of channel one. If you have a problem and you don't see your personas set up on there, just click your default button and it will pull up your personas IO setting, okay? And you can save that setting. So we're going to close out of here. Also, right here at the bottom, very bottom, where it says default monitor format, that default monitor format is in the studio left and right. So your main output you'll still be able to hear your uh, Persona's audio stuff coming out of the main output. Your main output fader here on the mixing console will still control the volume, okay? All right. All right, let's go and get into a session, all right? Okay, now we're going to create our first track. You go in Pro Tools 9, go to Track at the very top, hit New, then you come over here in your track menu, you want to create one track, a mono track, which I'm going to use this bass guitar. You want an audio track, and you want it on samples. And then hit your create. Now it just created a track, okay, for your Pro Tools to take in the uh, instrument that you're feeding through your Persona 1642. Uh, right now, I, am, I have this bass guitar plugged into channel 9 here on the mixing board. So I'm going to engage my interface I.O. settings to input 9 because I am plugged in channel 9 on the mixing console. Then I'm going to engage my output to channel 9. 
Now, if I want to hear that instrument, I come back over here to my Personas mixing console on channel 9. If I bring channel 9 up, I hear the instrument in my monitor reference to be able to hear what I'm playing. So, set the gain structure here on the mixing console on channel 9. I'm going to set this gain structure so I make sure I get enough signal going to the Pro Tools 9, okay? All right, here we go. Yeah, it's good signal there. All right, all right. If you want to monitor your signal, all you have to do is bring your master fader up on the uh, Personas mixing console. And you can hear the, the actual instrument that you're actually playing. So, okay. here we go. Let's do this. Go to record. That's enough. Just a little loop, a little something, something. Okay. Cool. Now let's play it back. I want you to understand in playback mode with the personas, um, you don't have to enable your firewire input because we set everything up on the IOs in the settings for Pro Tools. So you don't have to enable to hear the actual track back. Because right now, we have it set up. Let me go to a different page. Let me show you why we don't have to enable it. If you look at your output, your output is set to master. So your master is coming down to stereo. Now, if we change the master to an in individual master output, then it would need to. So right now, we just have it set up that it's coming out of master stereo left and right. Okay. Now, in order to play this audio back, I have to engage again. If you look at my output bus... My output bus is set for channel 1 and 2. I can engage it and turn and have it to come straight out of channel 9. So I'm going to do it in channel 9. It says mono. I hit 9. Now I go up here to my Personas 1642 at the very top. Engage my Firewire input. Boom. There we go. Now I should be able to hear this track. There you go. That's how you can mix your records with the Personas 1642.